Hello friends, hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I am a teacher of Russian language and travel expert in Russia. Today we continue our journey and we are going to Gorky Park. In 1934 years. One English writer, Henry Wells, he visited Moscow. When he walked around the Gorky Park, he said to the director of this park, he said, congratulations, you are the director of the factory of happy people. If you're interested to know what he saw in this park, what makes people happy, please continue with this video. So guys, let's start. This is the main entrance to Gorky Park. How you can come here? You need the metro station Oktyabrskaya or metro station Park Kultury. This is the main entrance, so we will uh, go inside and I will show you around. And let me tell you uh, a little bit about the history. And uh, after history, I will show you what we have and uh, how people become happy. A very interesting fact that most of people know the name of this park, Gorky Park. But what does it mean, Gorky? Gorky, it's uh, one of the very uh, famous Russian writers and poet. His name is Maxim Gorky. Maxim Gorky. And that's why the park has the name Gorky Park. So the name of this writer. This writer in 1930 um, year after revolution, you know, it was a revolution in Russia in, in 1917. And uh, this poet, uh, Maxim Gorky, he was one of the poets who supported revolution and he was like a hero for people who follow to revolution and um, that's why this park his name and uh, let's go inside watch it and tell about this park let's go so how this park was uh, established till 1923 year on this place it was a uh, garbage place yes a lot of a lot of uh, garbage they were here and people just threw the garbage and after 1923 year, Russian government, Soviet Union time it was, decided to create the park here. Why this park is special? Because uh, the idea of this park is that it's not only leisure place, it's a place of, how we say in Russian, park kultury i oddycha, park leisure and culture so the main thing of this park and what uh, is the difference between this park and all other parks which we have in uh, moscow and in russia what was idea idea was that to create the park when um, people not only have rest but park when people can uh, educate develop their brains develop their knowledge and develop their culture so this is the main difference uh, of this park from other parks and um, why Gerbert Wells came to Moscow and uh, why Gerbert Wells was interested in this park because in Soviet Union time, in this time, in 1930 year, there was idea of the perfect human. This idea, if you read about it, also Nietzsche and um, other people, so many famous uh, people, they uh, spoke about it. Who is the perfect person? Uh, what kind of person uh, he should be? What kind of skills he should have? And uh, during Soviet Union time, the idea of perfect man was like, uh, this person must be, of course, educated. That's why this park is uh, full of uh, a lot of activities which can develop your knowledge, develop your brain. Second one, uh, this person must be uh, sportive. That's why in this park you will see a lot of activities for improving your uh, body. Yes, sportive and healthy, of course. Next one, because of, uh, of course, Soviet Union time, uh, the idea was that this person should be 
uh, the person who developed Soviet Union socialism ideas. And uh, that's why it was the idea to create this part. Not only leisure, but also develop the culture. And uh, Gerbit Wells came to the Gorky Park to see this. And uh, really the idea was to create the park when people who came here, they can develop their brain and develop their body. And it uh, was very funny that when the park was open, it was in August, 12 August, and uh, a lot of a lot of workers they came to the park through the main gate and there were so many people that everything were destroyed because people uh, visited first time and uh, after that of course everything were recovering but was an interesting fact and uh, uh, what is uh, the idea uh, why this idea happened uh, the perfect human because it was you know Stalin time uh, uh, after Russian Revolution in um, 1917, it was uh, Lenin who managed the country after Lenin, Stalin started to manage the Soviet Union. And um, at that time, uh, the Soviet Union government, they saw uh, how can we develop people? How can we create a person who will follow to the Soviet Union uh, idea? What can we do for workers? Because People used to only work, not uh, have rest. And actually, it's true, in that time, it was not hedonism time, <laughs> anti-hedonism. People didn't know uh, how to have rest. And uh, because Soviet Union, it's a time that when everyone is equal, it's a worker's time and uh, time when um, people only work. People didn't know what doesn't mean have rest. As in a military language, in Russian, I will not say about all languages, so I will say only about my culture. In Russian language, for military people, the word rest, отдыхать, have rest, means to sleep. So it means that you're only working and sleeping. You no rest. So re rest means you go to sleep. Why you need rest? So we don't need rest. And of course, it's not good. Everyone needs some uh, rest. And idea was to teach people how they can have rest. And uh, the idea was how to do it to organize the schedule. In Soviet Union time, they called this park like one day holiday park and you will be happy. Like spend one day here and you will be happy. Very interesting that happiness a schedule? Mm -hmm. Let's maybe yes. <laughs> so the schedule was like this: people came to this park in 9 a.m. They have breakfast. In this park, they were cooked around you can imagine 30,000 dishes. Every day, chefs cooked different kind of food. It was too much dishes here and people have breakfast after breakfast they came for some uh, exercises have rest walking and uh, 2 p.m they had uh, lunch after lunch uh, one hour rest and after that they came to some uh, after sport activities they came to the culture develop the culture so First uh, part of the day, you develop your body by doing sport, and there were a lot of a lot of kind of sport, any sport as you want. And uh, after that, they had culture developed, so they came to this theater, they watched opera or ballet, and so on. So many uh, exhibitions, so many museums, they were here to develop your culture, right? And then they had uh, dinner and uh, relax and go to sleep. Uh, that's why maybe Gerbert Wells came to the Gorky Park and he saw these people. He decided that really happy people. He saw first time uh, happy people. And it was he was surprised really because when he came before, after revolution, during Lenin time, people were not happy. You know, revolution is always terrible for everyone. He saw the happy people. So guys, let's uh, continue and um, look this park around.
uh, I hope today we will cover the daytime and the evening time. So guys, let's see what can we do here. This is Radisson Cruise board and also there are a lot of uh, boards and uh, what you can do, you can come here, book tickets online and uh, explore the Moscow by board. So the tour can be one hour or two hours and a half. It will be nice and you can cover all Moscow in the daytime or like we are doing now in the evening. And uh, why also the park, Kultury uh, Gorky Park is special because you can see the very low line of um, embankment. The Moscow River is here. But I don't, of course, suggest you jump. It's a city and, and it's dangerous, of course. Don't jump and uh, don't take a fish from uh, this uh, river. Also very interesting uh, what we can see. So uh, the Gorky Park, it's not only this park, which we saw today. It's also Niskuchny Sad, Museum and uh, Sparrow Hills, Varabiovo Gore. All these locations is a Gorky Park. And guys, also look at this. This is, you can see it's right in Armia Rossiya, Red Army. And uh, this monument is a military of Russian embassy, embassy of Russian military. So this monument, it's a ministry of Russian army. So we can see very magnificent Red Army, Armia Rossiya. So you can see this Radisson Cruise. It's an uh, amazing trip because here inside you can uh, have lunch or dinner and um, explore Moscow from, from the river. I really suggest you to do it because it's totally different view if you look to the Moscow like Kremlin and other things from the earth or from the river. It's so totally different. So very nice. So guys, if you go straight, you will uh, reach the um, Sparrow Hills, Varabiov Gore. And uh, why also this park is good? So it has special uh, roads. Uh, this is only for bicycles. So this part of for walking and uh, this part for bicycles and for roller and so on. So in this park, you can rent bicycle or electric scooter and explore park uh, by yourself. So I suggest you do it because park is very big and uh, you can do it here. So dear friends, I hope you like this video. What I can say, the idea of happy person and perfect person, I think it's realized. I think uh, I agree that the happy person, it's a person who can find the balance between a good body, health and education and knowledge so i recommend you this park here you can uh, do a lot of sports you can um, improve your body <laughs> improve your health and you can improve your knowledge you can visit museums some exhibition develop your culture and so on and i suggest you do also in your life follow the balance between education and good health. Everything is important, I think. We shouldn't do focus on something, only one thing. Maybe this is a happiness, finding the balance in our life, yes, with families, friends, love, body, health, knowledge, and so on. Thank you for listening. Bye for now. Пока-пока. From Russia with love.